recently read an article in the Harvard Business Review that talked about the paradox of choice and how analysis paralysis can actually make us just overload our brains with decision making and make us not want to make a choice at all. I found this fascinating because I think this is exactly what happens when our closets are full of just way too much choice and we get frustrated and so we don't choose anything from our closets and we think we have nothing to wear, which is usually nine times out of ten not the case. So today I thought I would talk about how to tackle that analysis paralysis in your closet and how to decide what to wear when you're feeling overwhelmed by the abundance of choice in your closet. Today I'm going to share three ways that you can tackle that paradox of choice and hopefully as a result start using what you've already got in your closet and not want to run out and shop because you think you've got nothing to wear. I thought today was a perfect video topic to partner with my friends over at Open Wardrobe. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with Open Wardrobe before since I use this app a lot to work with my clients and help them style what they already have and also when I travel to create little travel capsules. Open Wardrobe is an online community and it's all organized around digital wardrobes. The best part is that it's easily accessible on your phone. I'm excited to tell you more about Open Wardrobe in just a second. For now, let's jump on it. You've heard me mention this one many times before, so I won't spend too long on it, but plan your outfits in advance. I cannot say this enough. Planning your outfits in advance helps reduce the overwhelm because hopefully you're doing this at a time when you have a little bit more creative freedom or just a little bit more time to make considered choices, to identify what you feel like wearing, what venue you're going to, the weather, all those things, and you can actually give yourself the time to assess whether you have to do some laundry or whether something just needs a quick steam or whether two items actually go together. And even to explore perhaps other parts of your closet that you don't typically reach for because you're just in a rush and you don't have time. You can plan your outfits in advance like with as much lead time as you want. Sometimes if all you've got is 10 minutes the night before, just use it. I know 10 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but even if it's just the night before and you get an idea of what you want to wear, maybe all you decide is like separates, pants and a top or skirts and a top, or maybe all you decide is a dress and a pair of heels. You've cut down that decision by like a monumentous amount already because you've narrowed it down. If you can put together an entire look for the next day in 10 minutes, even better. Some people like to plan their outfits for the week, which is also a really great strategy. Making this a regular practice can actually help you identify what gaps are really in your closet because you get to know the inventory in your closet very intimately so that when you're out shopping, you actually know if you're gonna use something. This also helps you build a more comprehensive shopping list. I get that time is a very valuable commodity and it is a privilege for a lot of us. So I definitely would recommend an app as the second option. Open Wardrobe fits right in beautifully here. Open Wardrobe allows you to digitize your wardrobe. So if you don't want to physically try things on, you can plan your outfits and put outfit collages together just before bed on your commute to work when you have a free second. But I also like Open Wardrobe because you can snap a picture of a look. This is what I personally do all the time. So I'll snap a picture of a look that I really like, upload it to Open Wardrobe, and then that way I have a bank of outfits where if I'm in a pinch, I know they look good, I know I feel good in them, and I can just throw them on there. And a bonus, I'm already using the clothes in my closet. The other really neat thing that Open Wardrobe does if you're traveling is that when you're traveling, you can build a little travel capsule, but you can build the capsule by outfit. So if you add an outfit collage to your travel capsule, Open Wardrobe will create your wardrobe list for you with all the items in each of the outfits that you upload. The other cool thing about Open Wardrobe is that it's a community so you can connect with other people on the app or stylists like myself who can offer suggestions on some of your outfits or your collages which is very neat and it's completely free so definitely worth a try if you don't like to sort of try things on and be physically present with your closet I would definitely recommend it. I will leave a link for you in the description box below so you can register and open up your own account. My final tip is for when it's an event. So event-based dressing, whether it's a trip or whether it's like an important work function, an interview or a fancy event. What I like to do in this situation that I find is so helpful to shop my closet for these big occasions is I will choose a bunch of options. So if I'm traveling, I'll put together
together a preliminary travel capsule. But if it's for say a fancy event, I will also take out maybe two or three options that I'm considering from my closet. I have a small rack that I like to keep separate for these things and I'll hang those items on my rack one to two weeks before the event or before my departure. And I just let it sit there. I don't like look at it all the time, but I make sure that this rack of options is in a place where like, it's kind of in my subconscious, you know, it's in my bedroom or it's somewhere that I'm gonna walk by or that I'm gonna see regularly for the next two weeks. This sounds so woo woo, but I swear it works <laughs> for me anyway. And it worked for a friend who I practiced this on. I just sort of let my subconscious make the decision for me. But through those two weeks, I go and every now and then maybe I'll tweak something. If it's a travel capsule, I will, you know, keep checking the weather. And if the weather changes or if my itinerary changes, I have the time and the mental space to make those tweaks in the travel capsule well in advance. I really do feel like your subconscious can do a lot for you when those options are kind of laid out in front of you, but you're not constantly stressing about them. Fashion should not be a stressful thing. Our personal style should not be a stressful thing. I know I shouldn't be using the word should, I apologize, but that's just the way it is. I think fashion and style can be such an empowering and joyful thing, but a lot of the times it requires a little bit more consideration in that mental space, which I know it is a huge privilege to have, but hopefully if you are pressed for time or if you do have a jam-packed schedule, giving yourself that two to three week window, however much you need to let those decisions kind of sit in your subconscious and make you even just feel a bit more prepared will take that frustration out of getting dressed and putting outfits together. It's really all about eliminating those last minute panic decisions. Cause I think that's what really pushes us into feeling like we have nothing to wear and pushes us to making these impulse purchases that we really don't need. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments as always in the comments below. A huge thank you to Open Wardrobe for sponsoring today's video. I really love the concept of any tool that helps you work with what you've already got. So again, I will leave the free app link for you so you can create your own Open Wardrobe account in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, if you are still here, I so appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.